Good morning, happy Friday, and it is another episode of Minecraft Meetup. Today we are going to be explosive and we're going to make a TNT pyramid using our coding agent only. And then we're going to have it explode. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to get right in. I'm going to go ahead and get over here to my Minecraft screen so you can see that. And go to my block of grass world that I have used for so many times. Pretty soon I think I'm going to end up going back to other things that we've already done in here. But we have a nice green patch before us. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, of course, is go into uh, push the C button and get into our coding agent. Now, I am going to create a new project. And we're going to call this one Pyramid. Okay, so we're not going to use on the chat command. We're not going to use that. We're going to use on start. And the first thing we're going to do is we what we always should do is we should teleport the agent to where we are so we can actually see him working. So I'm going to click on agent and agent to teleport to player. Okay. Then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm actually going to have him count out. Actually, I think we're going to make a new variable and this one's going to be called num1. Okay. All right. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put in here, set num1 to zero. That's our variable, set num1 to zero. And now we are going to go back to agent and we're going to, we're going to have, we're going to set the block from the inventory um, to count one and one one. And so I'm going to pull this one out and put this one in here. Now, one of the things that you're going to look at is that we don't want to use the green, uh, the block of grass. So we're actually going to search for TNT. There it is. So we're going to make the TNT count one in slot one. Okay. So now we're ready to move on to the, to the next piece. Now the next piece is we're going to create some functions for each row of our pyramid. We're going to start with the bottom row, of course, and we're going to have him move up the pyramid. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and create a function. And we're going to call this one row 12, row, row 10. Okay. And in row 10, we're actually going to use a loop. Okay. And we're going to use the index loop. And what the index is, it's going to match up with what the number is. So when we when we start the number from 1, and we're going to go 1, 2, 12. Okay. And actually, it's going to send, it's going to do 13 blocks because it's going to do 1, and then it's going to do 12 more. So it's going to do a total of 13 blocks. All right. So now, what are we going to have him do? We're going to have him place a block. So I'm going to go in here to the blocks and we're going to have him place a block and we're going to have him place, of course, the TNT. There's the TNT. We're going to have him place that. Now we're not going to have him place it at a coordinate. I'm going to go actually go into the agent and click agent position. So now he's going to place a block of TNT at the agent position, and then we're going to have him move one. So we're going to have him move forward by one. Okay. All right. And that's going to be function uh, row 10. Okay. So when he does that, he's going to go ch -ch 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 -ch, and then he's going to stop. So let's see. Let's just kind of see what that looks like. Okay. So we're, we're going to call that function. Put that right in there. All right, let's play it out. Let's move back so we can see. Okay, so that's going to be the base of our pyramid. So now we're going to need him to go up a level. We're going to need him to turn around. And then we're going to need him to move forward by two because we want him to start, get out of the way. We're gonna want him to start here on the second one here. We don't want him to start here because it's not gonna be a pyramid. So we're gonna want him to start in the second one. All right, so let's go back into our code. Okay, 
and we're going to make another function. And this next function we're going to make is going to be called new row. Okay, done. All right, so in new row, we're going to make our agent move. We're going to have him move up by one. Okay, so now he's going to go up one. He's going to go straight up. Now we need to make him turn around twice because he only turns 90 degrees. And we need to make him turn 180 degrees. So we're going to have him turn left. And then we're going to have him turn left again. So now he's facing the other way. And we're going to have him move forward by two now that he's facing the right way. Okay. We're going to have him move forward by two two okay so now after call row 10 we're going to do a new row so i'm going to call that function right here okay so now we're going to need we're going to have him start right there to do a, a row but we can't do a row of of 10 because then it's going to shoot over the edge right because that this this row is is of 10 so instead of what we're going to or 12 i should say so now what we're going to do is we're going to put them up and we're going to we're going to take away two. So instead of doing 12, we're going to do 10 like what we did here for this row. So I'm going to actually copy this. Okay. And I'm going to start a new function. We're going to call this one row 9. Okay. And now I'm going to paste it. There's my Here's my next function here. Now, we're not going to go 12. We're going to go 10. Remember, it's actually going to go 11. So we're going to go 13, and then we're going to go 11. So we're going to call that function as well. and we'll put that function inside of our what it's going to do. So now, he's going to teleport to where we are. He's going to set the number to 0. He's going to put the block of TNT in his first part of his inventory. And then we're going to call row 10, which is what he just did, and have him do a new row, and call row 9. So let's see what that looks like. Let's see where, where we went wrong. Well, he did it correctly that time. Okay, maybe he just kind of got a little discompopulated because I thought it looked right. So, all right, so now we've done one row and we've done another row. So now we need to do a new row again where he goes up one and goes over two. So let's do that. Okay. So under row nine, we're going to call the function new row where he goes up and goes over by two. And now we're going to do another row, but now we're going to take two away again because we did 12 and we did 10. And now we're going to do eight. All right. So we're going to go ahead and copy this again. Okay. And I'm going to do a new function. And I'm going to say row eight. Done. And in row eight, we're going to use this. Okay. Bring this up here. Ah, I hope it stops raining soon. Okay. And instead of doing 12, we did 12. Then we did 10. And now we're going to do 8 for this row. Does that make okay? Yes, now we're going to do 8. All right. So let's see if that looks correct. And we're, so we need to call row 8. And then we're going to go ahead and call new row again. And after he teleports to player, we're going to have him move away from me. I'm going to have him, going to have him move. We're going to have him move um, backwards by three right there. You know what? I think what I'm going to do instead, I think we're going to change that. We are going to have him place a block 
behind him instead. So we're going to have him place block behind him. So we're going to take this one out. And instead of using that, we're going to use the, um, we're going to go back and, and put the inventory in there. And set it to TNT. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to have him place block behind him as he moves forward by one. And he's going to do that 12 times. Okay. So that means that this, I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it and it paste it right here. And we're going to put this in for, for row nine. So we're going to take this one out and we're going to put this one in. And then we're going to make this say 10. Make this say 10. There we go. All right, let's see if how, how that works. So now we're going to call row 12, new row 1, call row 10, new row 2. Let's see how that goes. OK. Almost, almost. Now we're going to need to, he ended here, and then he went up by one. But he must have been facing this way because he went forward. So if we have him, if we have him turn around, so we need to have him go backwards. So let's go back in the code for row nine. It's going to be new, um, new row one. Here we go. So we had him move up by one. And instead of moving forward by two, we're going to have him move back by two. That might, that might solve the problem. So let's try that. Okay, then. So now he's moved over one, two, three, four, five. Let's put these in behind him, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But when he stops here, he's still going forward one more. Okay, because he's putting it in behind him, so he's stopping here. Okay, so let's take a look at that piece of code again, because I, I think that one, we might need to change that one. Okay, so he's going to move. So as soon as he finishes, let's, let's check our code here. So he does row 12. At the end of row 12, he's, he he's sets a block behind him, and he moves forward by one. So he moves forward by one. Okay, so now he's going to go up by one, turns the right, turns the right. So now he's going to go forward by three instead of two. Let's try that and see how that looks. Almost. OK, so now we need to make him go one more over. And see how this is working? All right, so we're going to go over by four, and then he'll he'll get that row. So for new row two, actually, we can just use new row one over and over and over again. So we can take this one out. Close it in there. We're going to call function new row one again. Okay, and let's go to eight. Where's eight? So we're going to copy this. And we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to paste it and put this in for 8. But instead of doing 10, we're going to do 8. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and call row 8. 
Okay. Oh, I was in the way. So what I did is I went in and I did all of my rows and I put all of my rows together and I made it into a pyramid. So I did 12 and 11 and 10 and 9 and then 8. So then I stacked them down and I made it as a pyramid. Okay. So if I look down here in my actual code, because th that's another function in my code. Now I have call pyramid and then I'm going to have a move forward and then I'm going to have a make a pyramid again. So let's see what this is going to look like. Move out of the way a little bit here and he is on the move. He is making one pyramid right now. I'm trying to get out of the way here so I'll, we can see him a little bit better. Maybe if I uh, get up in the air here, we'll be able to see him a little bit better. Get up here. All right, he's got down to three. He's doing one, and now he moves over. He's going to go down, and he's going to do the second pyramid. Because I have it doing three, and I, I had call pyramid, then I had a move over by six, and down six, and over one, and then he's building the second pyramid. And after he makes the second pyramid, he's going to do a third pyramid because I'm having him do the same process. And then at the end, I'm having him put a pressure plate and it's going to blow up all three pyramids. So let's take a look at this. He's getting closer. And he's going to do the three and then the one. He's going to go over by six, go down by six and over by a couple and then starts again. Now he's going to do the last pyramid here. And again, all I did was, is I did each row and where he goes up one, t turns around, goes back. And I, I took each one of those rows as a function and I created a big function that had all of the rows listed in order from the largest to the smallest. And that became my pyramid function. And then I called my pyramid function three times to do what he's doing right now. He's going to go down and he's going to put a pressure plate and check this out. This is fun. Oh, look at that. He is blowing everything up and all the rest of the TNT is going to blow up too. Ah, how fun is that? So now we learned a little bit more about functions and we learned a little bit more about loops and we, we learned a little bit about variables too, about having the variable start at zero and then having it count out to a specific number. So if you want more information on this, of course, you can email me. Um, I'll be more than happy to, to share my code with you so you can get started in learning how to do functions with variables. And that's about it for today. Thank you for watching.